Your active weather coverage starts right now here on Weather AM. Nathan Coleman is standing outside in the rain to help us tell the story of what's happening across the Maritimes this weekend. We're going to be checking in with him in 30 seconds. But first, I want to show you, wow, cold day across Ontario and Quebec. Mild conditions across the prairies, but that will be coming to an end. Special weather statements have been issued across southern Saskatchewan and southern Manitoba for this snow and the cold air that's coming. Essentially, the snow starts in Edmonton Sunday afternoon, and it'll filter right across the prairies Monday morning in Winnipeg. That could be a messy one. We're also looking at a bit of a shot of snow across Ontario and Quebec into Sunday. Cold front passes. The Golden Horseshoe should be spared with this, but that snow will filter into Ottawa about two centimeters east side of Georgian Bay about five and places like Montreal. Just a little sprinkling as we go through the last weekend of February. Now this rainfall, it's more than a little sprinkling. We have been looking at rainfall warnings across Halifax and Charlottetown. The snow no banks continue to melt. Nathan Coleman is joining us now from Halifax. And Nate, you know, the issue of flooding, the potential for a huge mess in some neighborhoods today with the snow melt and the 30 to 50 millimeters of rain, it can be quite alarming for some homeowners. Yes, that rainfall warning in place. And, uh, you know, the other big threat for homeowners is if they have snow on the roof, when the rain comes on top of it, it adds so much weight or your back deck. Remember, we've had record setting snowfall in Halifax for the month of February. So there's a lot of snow on my back deck and I went out and shoveled some of it off because that's going to add to the weight. So you want to be uh, very cautious if you are doing that activity because the, the snow can get very heavy. But the benefit here, I'm not wearing gloves. I'm wearing a baseball hat. It is so mild, but uh, that just means more snow will melt and mix in with this rain. So it's getting wet out here. Absolutely. Now, you're speaking about not wearing gloves right now, but Nate, the temperature drop that's coming across Atlantic Canada, it will be huge. You know, today temperatures around 6, 7 degrees across Nova Scotia. Tonight, we're down close to minus 15. So this is going to be a huge change. Yes, this is a later stay. I've got uh, the extra gloves in the vehicle. I've also got my parka in the vehicle because that happens quickly. And that's the, the big issue here. And that's why, you know, the buses will be off the road at 1 p.m. Because as the day progresses into the evening, this freezes up and it's going to be very treacherous conditions on the roads. Uh, so if you have plans tonight, you may want to think about uh, moving them ahead to tomorrow. Give, give those plows a time to salt the roads because it's going to be just so icy and, and you don't want to get stranded out there. You got it, Nate. Now, a lot of people, of course, commenting on this winter across Nova Scotia, it's been tough. It certainly has not been an easy one. How does this compare to 2015? Do you think people will be protesting the sidewalks this week? <laughs> well, I, I always remember that people were so upset because the ice was, you know, so thick and there was nothing the city crews could do about it. You need an army to really chip away at it. Uh, but this winter, in this February especially, it's just been straight snow. We've stayed nice and cold, uh, which is not typical for a coastal city like Halifax. This is more what we're used to, the up and down. We get snow, then rain on top of it. So that's what we're experiencing now. But up to this point, people have enjoyed getting back out on the trails and cross-country skiing. You don't get that very often uh, as of late in Halifax. Absolutely. And, you know, I was thinking about all the ski hills, especially across Atlantic Canada, going into the Christmas season, and there wasn't one lift running. Now Mother Nature has certainly made up for a lot of lost time. Nathan Coleman, thank you so much for joining us here on Weather AM today. Of course, as many people think about all of the cold air that's coming across Atlantic Canada and the snow, I do want to remind you that the Weather Network will release our spring forecast on February 28th this week.